Hi everyone, this is Craig the Water Guy. I hope you're doing well. Have you been online searching for best water softener or best water softeners to kind of figure out what best water softener is out there and which one would be best for you? If you were, then I'm here to help you. I have over 33 years experience in the water treatment industry and uh, I would like to uh, take a little bit of time here with you to go over some of the top selling water softeners and go over the advantages uh, to each one, do some comparisons and uh, help you make the right decision on which water softener would be the best water softener for you. So uh, what I've done here is I've pulled up uh, uh, five different websites, uh, including uh, qualitywatertreatment.com, which is actually our website. And uh, I want to compare uh, the top selling water softeners on the market with you. Okay. So the first one that, uh, that we're going to see, look at here is the General Electric uh, water softener through General Electric uh, Appliance Division. General Electric is sold by a lot of big box stores such as Home Depot, for instance. Uh, the General Electric water softener has been around for a long time. Uh, this, this particular system is an electronic meter, which most of them are nowadays. But it's a cabinet model, so what you have here is a space saver. Uh, it doesn't uh, use as much room as your traditional two tank type softeners that we're going to go over here. So the mineral tank inside that the control valve is attached to uh, it sits inside the salt tank. The disadvantage to this uh, is that you're exposing your electronic components to salt water from everything being in one tank, uh, which is uh, bad for the electronics over time. The salt water is going to have an effect on those electronic components. Um, so that's one thing that the uh, I don't like about the cabinet models, uh, especially when they're all in one tank like this. Uh, the other thing is that uh, the warranty on the General Electric, uh, the warranty on the General Electric water softener is, uh, has a, uh, has a three year uh, electronic timer warranty. The electronic timer is the uh, most expensive part about a water softener. And it's the part that is going to go out on you. It's the part that needs uh, replacement parts and maintenance and stuff like that over the years. So to only have a three year warranty, it's a pretty light warranty, especially when it's exposed to salt air like that. Uh, probably not too good of a combination there. It has a 10-year warranty on the bright tank and the resin tank, which is uh, a pretty typical warranty across the industry. Uh, so it's, it's right there as far as that goes. Uh, so the system is also a downflow system. So it's not new age technology downflow. It's just a standard downflow water softener. So it's going to use uh, quite a bit of salt, uh, waste quite a bit of salt and water per regeneration. So what you purchase this system is just going to keep on costing your money as far as uh, maintain the system goes. Okay. Uh, the next system is the Fleck water softeners. Uh, Fleck water softeners are found all over the internet as well as sold by a lot of uh, brick and mortar dealers. Uh, we actually sell Fleck water softeners. We've been carrying, installing, and servicing water so uh, Fleck water softeners for over 28 years, and me personally, I've been servicing some for over 33 years when I worked for other companies uh, before I started my own company. Uh, it's a good valve, it's a good water softener, but uh, over the years, they have not upgraded their technology to be more efficient. So the system wastes a lot of salt and a lot of water, just like the General Electric software does. It does carry a little bit better warranty. The control valve has a manufacturing warranty of five years compared to the General Electric water softener has that three year warranty. So it's a better warranty. The tank warranty is 10 years on the, uh, on both the bright tank and the mineral tank here on the flex. So it's the same as the General Electric water softener warranty as far as the tanks go. Okay. The technology is the same. They're both downflow, like I mentioned earlier. So your salt and your water waste is going to be the same. Uh, this is a two tank model. So you're not going to have salt air exposure hitting the 
components uh, like you do the General Electric cabinet model, all right? Uh, we still sell Fleck water softeners on our website at qualitywatertreatment.com. Uh, we try to talk people out of purchasing the Fleck water softeners when they call us, although we do sell quite a few because they are still a popular brand out there. Uh, the reason why we try to talk about it is number one, they're not high efficiency software, so they could kill you to cost you money, uh, after the purchase. The other is, is that, uh, over the last few years, uh, we've been having issues with, uh, Fleck, uh, being quick as far as taking care of warranty issues for us. We take care of the warranty issues for our customers by making sure they get the parts that they need that are under warranty to keep them in soft water. But to get the approval and get the money back from Fleck has been taken up to three months sometimes, which is a ridiculous amount of time. It used to be within a couple of weeks, which is what it should be. And it just hasn't been like that. So for those reasons is why we try to talk people out of Fleck systems. Okay. So the next system that uh, we looked at here is uh, we looked at the website Pelican Water Systems. Uh, Pelican Water Systems has a system called the Advantage Series salt-based water softeners. Um, the the valve here, I'm not 100% familiar with, but it looks really close to the Canature valve. So this valve here is a one-inch control valve according to the specifications I looked at. So it has a little bit higher flow rate than your General Electric three-quarter inch valve and your Fleck 5600 SXT control valve, which is also three-quarter inch. What they've done here at Pelican uh, Water Systems is uh, they have uh, taken a stainless steel jacket and they slipped the jacket over the black mineral tank to give it a nicer look and to help protect the tank, uh, especially if the tank is installed outdoors uh, to keep the sun off of it, the weather off of it. Uh, the warranty on this system, uh, it looked to be uh a lifetime warranty on the mineral tank and the uh, bride tank and a seven-year control valve warranty through the manufacturer uh, a better warranty than general electric which is three years on the valve and 10 years on the tank and a better warranty than the fleck water softeners which is five years on the valve and 10 years on a tank so seven to five seven to three lifetime to ten lifetime to ten okay for the tanks uh, what we've also found here, uh, what I've also found here is that this particular system is a downflow software as well. It's not upflow. It's not new technology. So it, again, it wastes a lot of salt and water per regeneration, just like the Fleck water softeners do and just like the General Electric water softeners do. So there's really no big advantage to this system except for the fact that it has uh, a, a better warranty than those systems. But all in all, the way it operates, the way it works um, is pretty much all the same as far as that goes. The next system is uh, a system called Flex, which is F-L-E-X-X. -X. It looks like what they've done here is they've uh, kind of played on the, uh, the manufacturer well-known name of Fleck, and they call it Flex. Uh, pretty brilliant as far as marketing goes, right? So what they've done here with this system is uh, this particular valve is also a one-inch control valve, uh, just like the Pelican system, so it's a little higher flow rate abilities as far as the valve goes. I want to explain flow rates to you just a little bit to get a little bit off subject here as far as best water softeners go. Uh, the control valve, three quarter inch versus one inch, it sounds all great, right? Uh, because, oh yeah, I get a water's control valve and get higher flow rates. Well, that's not exactly 100% correct. Uh, the size of the water softener itself which is the size of the tank that the water is running through and the volume of the resin that it is running through is going to dictate the amount of flow you can get through the water softener and have it actually be effective uh, for treating your water properly. Okay. So kind of give you an example. You could take a three quarter inch water softener and put it on a 32,000 grade capacity tank, which is a one cubic foot softener, which is pretty typical size across the industry. Okay. 
you're going to get an effective flow rate where the system is able to treat your water effectively, uh, close to 100% as far as removing the hardest minerals go, uh, between 9 and 12 gallons per minute. Okay. You could take a one inch control valve and put it on that same 32,000 grain, one cubic foot system. And the flow rates don't change um, as far as the effectability goes. You can run more water through it with a one inch control valve than you can the three quarter inch, of course, but your water is not going to be treated effectively if you start running a lot of water at the same time through the system. So I just want to take a minute to explain that to you folks. Uh, the other thing that they, uh, they've done here is, uh, they say that their system communicates with your smartphone via, uh, Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi capability. Uh, being in the industry as long as I have, I really don't see an advantage of this at all. It all sounds great, but you can't listen to Pandora or watch TV, uh, through your water software. I, I really don't see any benefit to this at all because once you have programmed your system, it's pretty much done. You don't need to sit there and reprogram it or anything like that. I mean, I guess if you don't want to walk out to it, maybe look at what it's doing as far as, you know, how many gallons of water you've used or what your average flow rates are, stuff like that. If you uh, have it in mind where you want to take a look at it, you don't want to walk out there, I guess you can look at it through your smartphone. If that's what you want to do, me personally, I've got better things to do than worry about that aspect of it. If I uh, if I really feel like I want to look at that information, then great, you know. But how often are you going to do that? So I really don't see advantage of that. Uh, again, we go over the peak flow rates. Uh, we talked about that. The one inch versus three quarter is dictated by the size of the software it's actually put on, as far as efficiency flow rates go. It uses a 9-volt battery for your uh, for your regeneration mode for automatically returns to service if you are municipal water and you use you lose electricity. The system cannot complete the regeneration. Therefore, it can be stuck in the regeneration mode until your power returns. By doing that, you can waste water out through the drain. Now, that is very true. Uh, and that is a, fe a good feature as far as that aspect of it. Uh, the two things I see with this, though, is one, it's 9 volt. So it is a battery instead of no brand memory chip. So the battery batteries do burn out. You got to replace them. Okay, that's that's one problem. The other problem is that uh, and, uh, I'm not 100% positive about this. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell you that right now. But what by looking at this, what it tells me is that if the system's in a regeneration mode and you lose electricity and a 9 volt battery takes over and it puts the system back in service. And if it just happens to be in the bright draw mode where it's sucking the salt water out of the bright tank and recharging the resin bed, and it hasn't had a chance to do what we call the rapid rinse after the brine to rinse any excessive salt water out of your system that is not being used up by recharging your resin bed. And you go to use water in the home, you're going to have salty water in your home until that clears up. That could be a very bad thing, especially if you get up in the morning, you turn on the shower, you start taking a shower, and you, you're pulling salt water into your, your plumbing system and your hot water heater system. I don't like that feature. So unless they have figured out a way to keep that from happening, uh, I really don't like this feature. Um, it's got a good point, but it also has a bad point uh, based on how I think it works. Okay. Um, the warranty on this system, it looks like it has a 10 year warranty on the tanks and seven year warranty on the control valve. Uh, better warranty than General Electric, three years and 10 years. Better than the Fleck, five years and 10 years. Uh, the warranty, same valve warranty is seven years as the Pelican uh, Advantage Series water softener. Uh, and a um, the warranty on the tanks is 10 years compared to the Pelican lifetime. So same warranty as the Pelican as far as the valve goes, uh, not as good as a warranty as far as the tanks go. Okay. 
Uh, it uses a stainless steel bypass valve, one inch. Uh, Fleck water softers uh, have the option of using stainless steel bypass valves. We have used uh, stainless steel bypass valves on Fleck water softers for years. Over the last year, we stopped offering them uh, as part of our package. And the reason why is because a lot of people uh, have a problem with the bail adapters that they purchase from the hardware store that go into those stainless steel bypass valves of uh, uh, having a problem with them leaking. So it's been extremely challenging for us to take the time to talk people into how to uh, keep that from happening. And it's really kind of a trial and error thing. So because of that, uh, we just offer the plastic bypass valves as our packages with our flux systems because uh, they are now a more of a shut off valve style bypass and we don't have the problems with it leaking like this. So that's the reason why we stay away from the stainless steel at this point. Uh, it looks like the flex system uh, is a, it might be an upflow system. If it's not an upflow system, and they're, they're using a resin called SST60 resin, which is a salt saving, water saving type resin. I'm not 100% sure exactly how they're achieving their salt savings on this system uh, because they don't specify if, if, it's, uh, if it's a specialty resin like that. Uh, they're achieving it that way, or if, it's, uh, or if it's upflow regeneration with new age technology. They don't really specify that. Now, uh, none of these systems have a third-party rating. Uh, none of them that I see uh, have a third-party rating stamp. And what that means is that the systems are not built as a complete system uh, from one manufacturer and sent to a third-party rating company and actually uh, certified uh, as a complete system, which means that the quality of the components, yeah, they might be certified, they might be good, but the system as a whole has not been tested by a third party uh, or certified as a third party. So that is uh, four of the systems that I have found to be in the, in the, uh, the top rated uh, water software section. Okay. The last one, the fifth one, is qualitywatertreatment.com, which is our website. Uh, what we have here is our soft pro series. We have uh, a few different models. Uh, the first one is a three-quarter inch control valve, just like the General Electric three-quarter or the Fleck three-quarter. Again, uh, going through what I went through earlier, you could take a one-inch control valve and put it on a tank. Uh, but and you get higher flow rates, yes, but efficiency rated at those higher flow rates. If you use a lot of water at one time, as far as flow rates go, the ability to soften the water is not going to be as good. So the three quarter inch uh, soft pro pure optimist series, uh, all of these soft pro systems are upflow technology uh, with new age technology. It's a combination of both that makes these systems so efficient. The systems will save you up to 75% on salt and save you up to 64% of wastewater per regeneration, which is better for the environment. And according to the manufacturer's specifications on their years of uh, looking at the data on these, these systems will save a family of four up to $220 per year in salt and water savings alone. And I, we actually have the data on our website under our FAQs that actually goes over that data with you step by step. If you're the type of person that actually wants to look at that data, it is there for you. Okay, so uh, the system has a seven, the, the Pura system has a seven year warranty on the control valve and lifetime warranty on the tanks. Uh, we have our SoftPro Elite. Uh, basic system, which is this system here. Same exact system as far as uh, the technology goes, except for it's a one inch ported valve. So if you do want a one inch ported valve for plumbing reasons uh, more than anything, it's there for you. Uh, it has a better warranty than our Pura valve. Uh, it has a 10 year manufacturer control valve warranty versus the seven years and lifetime warranty on the tanks. So the Elite Basic actually beats the U.S. Water Systems Flex system, which is their one-inch system. 
has a 10-year warranty versus their 7-year warranty. It beats the Pelican system by 10-year warranty versus 7-year warranty. Those are the two one-inch valves in comparison to the Softco Elite Basic one-inch valve. So doing the comparisons there, I'm going to drink water here a little bit, please. So comparing the uh, the one inch systems, uh, those three systems there, the software with the basic uh, has a better warranty. It's also upflow technology with new age technology combination to save you a lot of water, a lot of salt, which pays for itself. It's really uh, a water software that continues to pay for itself once you purchase it. If you look at two or twenty dollars a year minimum, uh, that is going to save you. And pay for the system in a short period of time. So, the other thing here is I went over earlier with you folks about, about third party rating, how none of the general, the general electric, the FLEC water softener, the Pelican water softener, or the Flex water softener through softener water, none of those systems uh, have uh, third party rating. So, the soft pro system does. The soft pro water softener is manufactured by the second largest water treatment manufacturer in the world. The systems come pre manufactured and shipped directly to you from the manufacturer. They are all third party rated through a company called IAPMO, which has a water quality platinum seal. Uh, IATMO is a company that was uh, developed and formed by former employees of Water Quality Association, also known as WQA, which is also a third-party rating company. So these systems uh, have been sent over as a complete system to IATMO to make sure that it can pass all the stringent testing and plumbing codes and safety and everything else to make sure the system is the best it could possibly be. So it's a pretty stringent uh, method that they go through in order to get a platinum seal like this. None of these other systems, like I said earlier, offer that. Now, to touch on new, new age technology, to kind of give you a guy, uh, guys an idea of what I'm talking about when I say new age technology. Uh, the soft pro uh, systems uh, have reverse flow regeneration with precision brighting. The General Electric, the Fleck water softeners, and the uh, the Advantage water series water softeners through Pelican, they do not have that feature. The Flex water softener, I really don't know if it has that feature or not because they really don't say that it. They don't say that it does. All they say is that they can save you up to seventy five percent on salt. They don't say anything about savings of water. They don't say how they really do it. So I'm not 100% sure about that aspect of it, okay? So basically the soft pro, uh, what they're saying here is the traditional downflow softeners, which we know that the General Electric, the Fleck, and the Pelican are all downflow. Again, we're not sure about the Flex system. Uh, all of those systems deplete the unused portion of the resin bed with every regeneration. It's like draining the gas tank of your car every time before filling it up, which wastes salt and water. The Saw Pro offers reverse flow regeneration, which drives the minerals up through the already depleted resin and out the drain, which saving both salt and unused portion of the resin bed. So basically what it's doing is that it's not depleting unused portions of the resin bed by throwing dirty hard water up through it. Okay. Uh, it has precision brining. Uh, precision brining saves additional salt by pre-making only 70% of the brine. These rest of these systems, they make 100% of the brine regardless of whether they need 100% or not, which way salt. Uh, just before the regeneration, the salt Pro computer system calculates the precise amount of brine top up needed to regenerate only the depleted resin, which saves you an additional 30% on salt. So when we're talking about new age technology, with all that technology, uh, uh, along with the upflow regeneration, upflow uh, 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 cycles, 
the system saves you quite a bit of water and salt. 75% salt, 64% water per regeneration. That's a huge savings. The other part of the new age technology that SoftPro has, it has municipal backwash cycle preset. So when you, have, when you get the system, you'll set it for well water or you'll set it for municipal water. Municipal water is city water. So what it does is it reduces your backwash frequencies for clean water supplies, which is municipal water supplies. So the system doesn't do a complete backwash every time it regenerates, and that's where your water savings comes in. There's really no reason to do that unless the water is actually dirty. Okay. Uh, the system has a sanitary system flush, so it has a vacation mode. If you go on vacation mode, you can put it in vacation mode. The system will do a quick backwash every seven days if there's nobody there using water which will keep bacteria from growing within the system, which is a nice feature. Um, it has a salt water quick charge mode. What that means is that, let's say you have a heavy usage day and the system says, hey, you're gonna run out of soft water before the day's out. And if you run out of soft water, what happens is that the system, uh, you will start pulling hard water into your plumbing system as well as your hot water heater, which is bad. This system will go into a quick regeneration mode, which takes 15 minutes to keep you back, keep you in soft water for the rest of the day to keep that from happening. The General Electric, the Fleck water softeners, the Pelican Advantage series, nor the Flex offer that. So that's a big advantage uh, that the software has over these systems, along with everything else I talked about. So that is everything in a nutshell for you. Um, in my opinion, the best water softener out there, obviously, is the Soft Pro Elite system. And it's not just because the fact that that is our brand, it's because of everything I just showed you. Uh, I mean, the features, the benefits, the warranty, uh, the savings, uh, being third party rated, everything about this Soft Pro water softener is better than any of these other systems. So I hope that helped you. And I know it was a lengthy uh, video, but uh, I hope you think it was worth it and that it helps you make the right decision uh, when it comes time for you to purchase a water softener. And I appreciate your time. Thank you very much and uh, have a great day.